Oh, oh, how, oh man, oh, it was beautiful. Snapshots of the meadow horse farm remain frozen in black and white. I used to help cut grades and trim around the whole house. It was, it was beautiful. But Alvin Mines remembers the Virginia landmark. Yes, a lot of good memories. Bursting with vibrancy from an early age. And then with the white fences, you see the horse in the fold, you know, and the paddock and stuff walking all through the green grass. It, it was a beautiful place. Yes. The man from Caroline County recalls one color standing out from the rest. When you see the, the sun just bleed on, you know, it like a, a brightness, you know, like a <laughs> bronze-like type, you know. On March 30th, 1970, the historic farm in Doswell was buzzing when a new addition raced into the world. We went by and seen him as a foal, you know, as a foal, you know, and how he used to run up and down in the, in the paddock, you know. <laughs> The Meadows former employee says Secretariat commanded attention from the very beginning. So, you know, I figured that, you know, it was something about him. Alvin and his many relatives who served as stablemen, farmhands, and grooms recognized his potential. He had a horse like had a mind of your own. What do you want he to do? But Alvin admits he never expected Secretariat to leap into the status of a legend. And they're off. Then you see when he make that move. Secretary has made a sudden move. Make the bold move. He probably say, you can't beat me. I'm just gonna let you have your fun. Y'all can't beat me. I'm gonna show you, you know. Secretary on the outside to take the lead. In the spring of 1973, Secretariat shatters records at the Kentucky Derby, the Preakness, and at the Belmont Stakes. Secretary, he wins it by two lengths. Records that still stand half a century later. They hear telling people you haven't seen nothing yet, you know. Alvin watches Secretariat's raw power firsthand during the second leg of the Triple Crown in Maryland. And I look and I see it coming one main hall. Oh, he ain't got it, he ain't got it. I said, oh yeah, I think he got it, I think he got it, I think he got it. The 72-year-old still can't rein in his excitement, reliving the moment. I matter of fact, I got a spot right on the rail, coming at it, yes indeed. And then I could see him coming, coming, coming. I go, oh yeah, woo. <laughs> It was amazing, I tell you. A few weeks later, on June 9th, Secretariat's crowning moment arrives. He is moving like a tremendous machine. The horse rocks the racing world, winning at Belmont by an astounding 31 lengths. The Secretariat is all alone. The feat catapults the three-year-old colt into rarefied air and earns him global admiration. We knew we had a triple crown when he broke and started his pulling and the announcement keeps saying, you know, 15, 20, you know, he's going 30, he's moving like a tremendous machine, you know, wow. It's just embedded in people's memories as such an outstanding achievement. Kentucky may be horse country and home to Churchill Downs, but Leanne Meadows Layden, author of Secretariat's Meadow, says Virginia's neighbor cannot claim the greatest racehorse in history. The foundation for the legend was right here on these very grounds. At Meadow Event Park, equine enthusiasts still visit the barns and sheds where Secretariat was born and trained. And to know he is from right here, where we're standing, <laughs> that um, Virginians should all be extremely proud. It was a big deal in sports. It was a big deal in news. It was a big deal to the people of the United States. I think it was a big deal to the people around the world. Director of Racing Operations at Colonial Downs, Dave Zenner, says gifted horses will forever race against history, but says they'll never catch the one known as Big Red. I think it's wonderful we have a horse like Secretariat to represent the Commonwealth. A lot of memory, a lot of memory. Back in Caroline County. And I don't think there'll be another horse like that, not in my lifetime. One of the last surviving stablemen from the Meadows' heyday cherishes his time working alongside an American icon. Superman, <laughs> you know, in any cape and stuff and ready to take off. <laughs> While most people were watching from afar, he was laying his hands on the mighty secretariat. Oh man, had some like a damn thing that come down, you know, and I used to rub them up in here. This is now you know, take them on, you know, under here. We like that, you know. Alvin Mines, the man who witnessed greatness. Yeah, the 50 years have been gone, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Gallop from the gate to the backstretch and beyond. It made a name for Virginia. Secretary made a big name for Virginia, you know. For I Have a Story. Wow, you know, 
Put us on the map. I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.